Governments all around the world have seemingly got the level of vitamin D3 supplementation recommendations completely wrong, as shown by this paper. I think they have pretty much toyed with us when it comes to setting the level of you know, certain nutrients and hormones, as the studies like this actually reveal. This study isn't new, but I was made aware uh, recently that many people have not seen it or have no idea it exists. And after going through the actual recommended levels of vitamin D, which are around 600 units a day, uh, as published by the Institute of Medicine, which I think has a direct link to the US and, and Canadian governments, uh, these researchers showed that the amount that recommended was literally more than 10 times less than it should be. The level that's aimed for generally in the blood is around 15 nanomoles per litre. And in order for 97.5% of people to have this, they found the amount needed was much more than 600. The figure they came up with which was 8,895 units per day. Just let that sink in. The amount that you actually need is almost 9,000 according to this analysis, and yet you've been asked to follow guidelines all this time that said 600. I thought this was a joke when I first came across this years ago. Um, and those that have been following this channel for some time will know that I actually did a multi-year experiment on myself where I took 100,000 units a day and had absolutely no side effects whatsoever. Uh, although, you know, do be aware that I did things like taking uh, vitamin K2 alongside. This is why I always recommend people pay more attention to things like uh, symptoms you know, rather than numbers on a piece of paper. When guidelines say that your level of this or that should be, you know, a particular amount, where does that number come from? What state were the subjects in who were studied for it? Can the evidence be held up to scrutiny? My advice to you is to seek out the reasoning behind reference ranges like the vitamin D1 that this video is about. And once you really start to comb through these things, you'll spot the holes. That's the easiest said than done because if you're not scientifically trained, then you probably won't be able to. But that's you know, also why I have this channel to share these things with you. And if you're interested, you know, I teach things like this as well as you know, cosmetic treatments, longevity, nutrition, uh, dentistry topics, um, and much more in my online school where I teach live multiple times a week. Uh, and if you'd like to join, the link is in the description.